All right, brand new wheels. I'm excited to get these cleaned and ceramic coated. Let's get this video started. All right, welcome back everybody. Martin with Bellevoir Auto Spa. Got new wheels as you see, or as you saw, uh, that I just ordered from fitmentindustries.com from my car. And what do we do with uh, new wheels, new cars, when you detail cars? You ceramic coat them, if you couldn't tell. So I'm gonna be ceramic coating these now. Normally, if they were new uh, wheels and rims, or new rims out of the box, wheels, whatever you wanna call them, um, I would just use eraser. And I forgot to grab an eraser off the shelf. So here it is. <laughs> Normally, I would just use eraser. Uh, however, since these were mounted and balanced before they were sent to me, um, I did notice the wheels are a little greasy and gross, so I want to give them a good wash first. Um, and we're just going to wash them with reset. We're not going to use any wheel cleaner because they don't really need it. They haven't been exposed to brake dust. Now, I would hate for the tires to still look gross when I have the wheels on nice and clean, so I am going to clean the tire, so we're going to use CarPro Retire for that. Um, I'll put a card here. Uh, retire is a very strong... Tire cleaner, you usually only need one pass uh, to get your tire nice and clean with it compared to an all-purpose cleaner and some weaker tire cleaners. Uh, so after we wash it, we're gonna use forced air to dry it and then we're gonna wipe it down with CarPro Eraser to make sure the surface is nice and prepped and then we are going to coat them with C-Quartz Deluxe. Now C-Quartz Deluxe is uh, plastic and wheel coating. Um, I don't know why they decided to go with plastic and wheel coating. I just use regular C-Quartz UK or light on plastics, but I know Deluxe from experience has a higher uh, content of solids. This stuff comes out really thick, um, almost like syrup. Now, a lot of people ask, okay, well, if this seems to be more durable, why wouldn't you use it on paint? Because this is very grabby when you're wiping it off and it is not very slick feeling. So while it is highly durable to resist those higher temperatures and brake dust and chemical exposure, you don't get that nice, uh, super slick feeling that you do with uh, C-Quartz UK or especially not C-Quartz SIC. Now, yeah, you can put Hydro 2 and, um, Hydro 2 and what's it called? Reload <laughs> on top of it to increase the slickness, but their wheels, I mean, you don't, not too worried about the slickness of the wheels. So again, they're brand new. Uh, we're gonna give them a quick wash. Um, and I'll, I'll go ahead and get that on camera because I wanna show you guys the process for cleaning wheels. Now, if your wheels are really dirty, you're gonna wanna decontaminate with iron remover. You're gonna wanna clay bar them. Um, but since these wheels are new and they're just a little greasy, uh, some, some shampoo should clean them off. So I'll get the bucket set up. I'm gonna open the garage door because obviously we don't want to get, uh, <laughs> we wanna be able to get the water out of here and uh, we'll get to work. So let me go ahead and get that set up. All right, guys, so for this, um, I mean, you can see some of the grease and stuff, you know, just from being in the shop, being mounted. They're a little dirty, so I want to make sure we get that clean. <coughs> um, I'm not going to be using anything really aggressive for this because it's not necessary. Um, this is my Max Shine wheel stand, by the way, and I'll, I'll link a card to that if you're interested. Um, but all I'm going to be doing is scrubbing the tires, uh, rinsing them off, and then I'm going to be using this... Um, over in the shot. This chemical guy is Bear Paw wash mitt. It's a nice soft wash mitt. Um, you know, just to get the wheels cleaned off. Uh, and then I'll, I'll, I'll blow dry it and then coat it. Again, if your wheels are really dirty, you're going to want to go with some more aggressive methods and decontamination. But this is a new wheel and tire. It doesn't really need it. So, first thing I'm going to do is get the uh, tire wet. Now these are brand new tires, so there's probably some nasty, or not nasty, but some factory coating on them to preserve them. So we're going to want to clean that off. So we're going to use Retire here. You can use any wheel cleaner you want. You can use APC if you really want to. Um, not the biggest fan of the foaming sprayer. That seems to be the general consensus about this, but this was actually sent to me for free, so it's not a big deal. I always buy more. That's on there, and let's go ahead and get this scrub nice and clean. See a little bit of browning, not much. Again, the new tires, there should be that much brown on them, but I mean, they're still enough. 
I want to be able to dress these tires after. So when they're mounted on the car, they look nice before I have to clean them. And you know you can't clean the ceramic coated uh, wheel for at least a week. You have to throw them really quick. Tire really, it's, there is some still some grime on there, and it's really pulling it out. So, doing a good job with that. Again, I re reviewed retire again, and it's one go around is going to be enough. I'm not going to beat this thing to death because really we're focused on this. Okay, we got the tire cleaned off. Next, we will clean the wheel. So we'll get our purple reset mix and a wheel mitt. Now this is a matte finish or satin finish, but the the rim itself is gloss black. So that's what I really want to make sure is nice and clean, because that's going to show any kind of dirt or anything. And I'm not using aggressive. Uh, Detailing brushes because I don't want to scratch the lips finish. I'm trying to be as gentle as possible here. There goes the tire brush. Alright, dip it again. The spokes cleaned off. Now I gotta rinse that off. You know, I probably clean the center. Just be a little more thorough with the center cap, even though the center cap's gonna go on there. But might as well get it right. Okay. Now rinse that off. Now the back of the tire, um, you don't need to clean. I'm going to just because I'm, I'm like that. Um, I mean, once this goes in the car, this never really gets cleaned off again anyways. But, you know, while we're here, while it's off the car, we might as well do it. Get my tire brush. And we'll get to work. Now I always forget that you can rotate this thing. So don't work harder than you have to if you got one of these nice wheel stands. I believe Adams makes one as well. Um, they're both sourced from some, some Asian company that makes the stand with uh, their own brand on it. But they make it for Max Shine with the Max Shine uh, cutouts in it in the back. And there's the Adams version as well. And I think some other companies are starting to get on board with that. They're all more or less the same thing. And it's pretty nice, rugged, durable. Um, the finish does chip off in the mail uh, because I don't package it that great. Adams might package it better. But 
still does a good, it does what you need it to do, and it does it well. And it can hold big tires as well, and I believe Max Shine just came out with an even larger version. If you got really, really big tires, if you do big tires regularly. So if that's your fancy, there you go. Dry my hands off. Hold on one second. All right, I'll rinse that off. I'm not using a pressure washer in my garage because I don't want water to get everywhere. And it has, the temperature has dropped here in Texas. It's not too bad right now, but the sun's also out. And it's, it's a real pain to record when the sun's like this. And it's just more comfortable in the garage anyways. side of the wheel and thank you to Industries for putting these behind the spoke as best you could they know what we like this off. Easy with the pressure. <laughs> oh. All right. And that's all you got to do to clean it. Again, that's, that's a new wheel just because it's a little greasy. If there was, you know, this wasn't a new wheel, if it's been on a car, I'm going to go through the full decontamination process. If these are new out of the box, I'm not even going to wash them, but, you know, they weren't in the box. Uh, they were shipped, plastic wrapped, you know, they had been handled, so they were, they were a little dirty. So anyways, uh, now we want to dry it off. So let me grab a drying towel and also some forced air. All right, now to dry this, I'm gonna be using my little Chemical Guys miniature leaf blower. Um, any little leaf blower will work, even a big one if you wanna use a big one. Uh, as well as my smaller CarPro dehydrate towel. Um, I've got the bigger one as well, but this, this will work for wheels because you know we're in small intricate areas. Um, and man, it looks like when the tires are clean, they're just not pretty. I'm not really getting any dirt off them, a little bit. Uh, but I'm going to dress those with pearl anyways. I'm not a big fan of tire coatings again, so we'll just use pearl to make them nice and black. Um, but we're going to want to coat these. But first, we've got to dry them off, so let's get dry them off. towel is to get that uh the water stragglers i mean it, the, the blower blows all the water out of the uh big obvious areas um this gets all the little straggler water i guess if you want to call it straggler water that's all i can think of I do want to turn this around and get the front. Let me do that. Now before I blow dry, I'm going to towel dry all the spokes and everything. Um, and I'll probably go around the rim again because I don't want to blow water back into it. This is all going to really de de depend on the uh, design of your wheels. Um, and I mean, I could have done the front first and then switched and done the back, but 
because I already had it oriented towards the back and just trying to do the easiest thing first. It's a really good drying towel, by the way. If you haven't tried it out yet, definitely recommend it. All right, now because this has these little, uh, I don't even know if these are real or fake, but um, these things and this whole little inner lip, I'm going to blow the water out of there and to get the water off the tire, and then I'll probably have to towel dry it one more time. Uh, but remember, the, the, the trick to this is being thorough. You really want to make sure they're prepped well uh, so you don't mess up the coating process. Uh, prep is everything when you're serving with coating, so just keep that in mind. this finish because this isn't going to show any future wear. The lip is a little bit. I mean it already shows it's already showing some signs um, and you know what I don't like how that looks so I am going to polish it. Yeah I'm going to do that so again this is probably just from being handled but you can see it's not perfectly shiny you know little scuffs so uh, I'm gonna polish that. So let me grab my little cordless polisher and get to work. All right, so I'm gonna try CarPro Reflect first and see if that uh, takes that out. You know, they don't seem, they're not too crazy. I mean, it just looks like haze more than anything. And we've got our uh, SPTA uh, mini cordless polisher. Now, some people may say, oh, you know, I'd call Fit and in Industries and tell them I wanna replace them. And honestly, guys, um, I got these, I had them mount these they mount and balance tires for free if you buy the tires, and unless you have a tire machine yourself or you know a place that's like super extra careful, I'm not gonna you know hate on the guys for doing their job. They can only do so much, and they probably do so many tires uh, mountings every single day. And honestly, even uh, the majority of car enthusiasts don't even notice that. So it's just uh, you know detailing freaks and weirdos like like myself that notice it. But that's why I've got the tools to uh, get it up to my standard. So anyways, we'll do a small section and we will see how the results look. And if they look good, then we will stick with Reflect and a polishing pad.
Now the splatter is a result of me putting too much polish on. Um, and oh, look at that. This must be like a tinted uh, clear on here or something, but regardless, let's see how that did. Ooh, yeah, it looks much better. Holy crap. Made a big difference. It's not super 100%, but any minor blemishes left over, the ceramic coating is probably going to fill in and make them even less noticeable. Um, so I can show you guys. See that right there is where I polished, and if I rotate a little bit more, you can see that's where I didn't polish, so big difference. See, if you look in the uh, reflection of the light, you can see the, the little scuffs. I have to rotate a little bit more to the area that I did. You can see that, you know, it's nice and uh, nice and clear. So. I'm not going to bore you with myself polishing this entire lip, and I'm going to use less polish so I don't splatter at all. Um, and then we will prep with CarPro Eraser. All right, so I got the lips polished up nicely. Um, now we're going to use eraser to prep the surface. Now the point of using eraser is to remove any residual soap, cleaner, polishing oil, residue, whatever. This is an alcohol-based cleaner essentially um, and the alcohol since it's alcohol based it evaporates from the surface it doesn't leave anything behind so you're going to want a nice soft microfiber towel and an eraser spray it on the wheel if you want because uh, this design i can see it just getting stuck everywhere so i'm just going to spray it right here and begin wiping down the wheel now i'm starting with the front because um, <clears throat> i'm going to coat the barrel first so I'll go ahead and start with the front. That way I can just turn it around, uh, prep that side, and be done with it. It doesn't hurt to give it a second wipe down just to make sure everything's wiped off. And then we want to get the spokes. Now, if you guys notice I miss anything on camera, um, believe me, I, I am going back over this again off camera to be more thorough. Uh, I'm just doing this just to show you guys. So I do see a few little spots that I have to be a little more intricate with, but I don't want to bore everyone to death. So anyways, um, that's the front. I'm turning around and we'll get the back. All right, so the back of the wheel, again, you can spray it directly on the surface if you want to. It's not my preferred way to do it, but everyone does things the way they, that works best for them. So if that's what works for you, go ahead. ceramic coating out. So let me grab that and get it all set up. Okay, now for this stage, you're going to want your ceramic coating, coating towel. This is the um, <clears throat> auto fiber saver cloth, or saver sheet, excuse me. And you're going to want your coating wipe off towel. This is a CarPro Micro Suede. Now, actually, when I do wheels, I don't level and wipe off the inside of a wheel because I want it to have the most durability. Um, and honestly, these aren't gloss finish anyway, so it's not even noticeable. Um, it's going to vary. Certain finishes you're going to want to wipe it off or it's going to be very obvious. 
Uh, this type of finish I've done in the past. It's not, you, you can't even notice and usually just gets dirty anyways on a daily driver. So I don't wipe it off. Uh, make sure you got a glove on as well or two gloves. Let me grab my other glove. Okay, now the beauty of the Sabre sheet is it's got a plastic lining in the middle so the coating doesn't soak through and it's two different colors. So I can use the back side for one wheel and then when I get to the other wheel, I can use the other side so I don't have to, you get more use out of the towel, which I like. So anyways, Secours Deluxe, it's, it's not, you know, not, it's, it's like their other coatings. You wipe it off, let it sit for a minute or so, wipe it off, wipe it on, wipe it off, excuse me. Um, this hasn't been open in a while, so let me get this bottle to open. Because again, this stuff is a very robust coating. There it is. Make sure I blow off any of the crystallization of the product. Okay. And I like to fold my towel in half when I do this. So, go ahead and get some on there. And that should be plenty. And then we coat the wheel. Now I like to do it in sections. First I'll do this inner section, then I'll do the outer section. Do the wheel weights as well. I just love how you can spin this around like that. Now again, the inside of the wheel is not, for me, it's not super concerning because one, I don't wipe it off so it's got maximum durability. And two, you don't see the inside of your wheel. I just do this really to protect the finish. Um, a lot of people just get the faces of their wheels coated and that's fine. Because, I mean, once these are on the car, I don't know about you, but I'm not going to be taking these off constantly to uh, clean them out. So that's the inner barrel. We'll get the back of the spokes. There's more coating on there. And I don't use suede blocks because it just makes this really hard. <laughs> They work fine on big flat surfaces, or if you got wheels, that you can get that suede block in there. More power to you. Uh, but on this, it's not happening. It's just not happening. This will add some corrosion protection, but I mean, it's not perfect. It doesn't uh, go into metal as well as other types of surfaces. Anyways, the back of the wheel is coated, so I'm gonna get this turned around. Now, I'm not gonna do it on camera because I don't want you to see my fat self struggling. Um, you don't wanna touch the inside. Grab it by the tire and just kind of hulk it around. Um, do it however you gotta do it, just don't touch the surface you coated already, okay? So let's go ahead and get this turned around. All right, now we're at the front of the wheel. A um, little more intricate, and also depending on the design. And I see some polish uh, residue I missed, so let me get that real quick. All right, I got that taken care of. It's just this uh, intersection is real freaking pain in the behind. Anyways, let's get back to coating. So. You want to do it in sections, so I'm going to do the outer lip first, uh, and then we'll focus on the spokes, and I'll probably do half and half uh, somehow. Um, anyways, let me get the uh, outer rim. So I'm gonna, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get it on like kind of the edge, so I can really just get in there.
this. Again, this wheel design. <laughs> a bit of a pain. I really challenged myself when I um, decided to go with this. But it's going to look good after I'm done. Now you want to make sure you uh, got a reference point for yourself where to start and stop. Um, a valve stem is probably a, a good one to use. Of course, I wasn't paying attention when I started, so I just made sure I was extra. Got some extra coverage on there. Man, that lip looks glossy after being polished, and then the ceramic coating. That looks really good. Now you want to let that sit for, now because it's a little uh, colder, I guess. I'm in a colder season. I'm not freezing. Let me see what the temperature right now is. 64 degrees. Uh, I'm going to let that sit for about three to five minutes, uh, and then we'll come back and wipe it off. So I'm just going to uh, cut to the part where it's been that long, and I'll get that done. All right, so I double-checked. It says deluxe to wipe off after one minute, so we'll just go with CarPro's recommendations. Now I've got two separate towels. I'm going to use this to level. I'm going to use this to buff. That way I don't get confused. So again, we just did this inner lip, so we're going to go around and keep in mind this is a very, very grabby coating, guys. So you're going to feel it really want to drag the towel around. Don't be alarmed. That's, that's normal. That's why I like the micro suede towels for final buff. And again, I didn't. <laughs> I didn't choose a reference point like a dummy. Don't be like me. Okay, that's the coating level. Now we're gonna buff it off. And get this inner edge just so I can get under this little part right here. After the final buff, it feels a lot smoother. It's not as grabby, but again, it's still not like, you know, C-Quartz UK or C-Quartz SIC. But it looks great. It looks amazing. All right, and that is the lip done. Oh man, yeah, that looks really good. Okay, next uh, we're gonna do the rest of the wheel and sections. So I'm going to set it like this and do this however you want, but uh, basically I'm gonna do from this inner spoke down to the center and I'll get the other side of here too. And then we'll flip it around and uh, do the other side. Get your coating back on your towel again. You don't need much, guys. You really don't. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna mark my areas that I'm gonna work. And start wiping it on. If you get overlap with areas already done, that's okay. And just make sure you're getting uh, good coverage. Check our lug nut holes, little intersections. side of these as well.
All right, and then again, we wait one minute and then we uh, buff and level. So let me cut to that part. And let's not forget to uh, get this subtle dude right here. Let me make sure that's coated right. You guys almost let me forget. Can't believe you. All right. And then we buff them up. I'll tell you what, I have coated wheels without this stand before, and this does make it a lot easier. <laughs> And because this is a satin or matte finish, whatever you want to call it, it is a lot more forgiving than high gloss wheels. Um, I've coated gloss wheels before and they're just a pain. It's possible, it's just harder. Spots missed. All right, now he's got one section left to coat um, from these spokes. So from here to here. So we will do that. I believe I wiped this already, but just want to make sure it can never be too safe. All right, let's get the last part. Here to here, okay. Sure, I get these lug nut holes again. All right, now we wait a minute and then we come back to wipe it off. And yeah, I'm gonna get these parts. I knew that. I already got the other spokes. Just to make sure. <laughs> All right, and we start the wipe off, and then that is it. Thanks for sticking with me this long. This is a uh, very fun process, as you can tell.
All right, guys, and that is how you ceramic coat a wheel. So let me go uh, get this set up, and then we'll go into our final thoughts. All right, guys, so there you got it. Uh, that's how to ceramic coat a wheel with CarPro's Seacourts Deluxe. Um, all the products in this video, if I can get this focus, there we go. All the products in this video, I'm going to have links to below um, if you're interested in purchasing any of them. Um, but if this video helped you, awesome. Uh, if you're wondering how to do the process, um, give it a thumbs up. Uh, but you can see the before and after. I mean, this is before. Again, these wheels have never been mounted on the car. They're a little dirty, though. Um, but, I mean, just look at the level of gloss of this compared to this. I mean, holy crap. And not, you know, just the wheel, not the tire, but look at how much more depth and sheen that has compared to that. So when you get new wheels, guys, it is 100% you want to ceramic coat them. If you really care about your wheels, especially if you get expensive wheels, you 100% want to ceramic coat them. Um, and, you know, following this video, you can do that. So, again, if you appreciate it, give it a thumbs up. I appreciate everybody watching. Um... If you like this video, let me know in the comments and I can do more things like this. Um, but I've got three other wheels to do, so I won't be recording this time uh, to get the process kind of moving along. But appreciate you guys watching. Uh, stay tuned for more videos. Have a good one.